Hello guys, my name is Hope and I'm a Cetaholic. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by and spending a little time with me. If you're one of my um, repeat visitors and friends, welcome back. I am going to show you how to play in the dirt with snow on the ground. That's right, It's I'm in Chicago Zone 5B and there's snow outside on the ground here in February. Today's the 17th and I'm going to teach you a technique. Now lots of people say winter sewing and do all sorts of things that are not. I learned from the lady I call coach, Cheryl Mann over at the Jews and Gardener channel and she learned from Trudy Davidoff who was the guru of this white method widespread and Cheryl Mann is like the coach who teaches us how to perfect this method and last year I had the best success ever in my gardens with this method sorry about the ambulance can't help that guys <laughs> but um, I tried this three years ago and it was epic failure because I didn't keep things close to me I didn't pay attention I was not mindful so I went back and read what to do again and so now I'm gonna show you for those of you who keep ordering seeds as you see I've got a few <laughs> and are itching to play in the dirt right now and don't necessarily want to start your seeds indoors, well, I'm gonna show you a method where you can do it chick quickly, cheaply, and efficiently for almost nothing. You've already got your seeds and this box of what looks like trash isn't. These are old um, milk jugs, orange juice containers, um, juice bottles that I've gotten from people at church, at work, all over. And um, I haven't gotten this label off, but I will. But see that label's missing? This one hasn't been prepped yet, but it will be. So what the whole focus is, you're turning these jugs into mini greenhouses and you actually put in some dirt, but first you prep your jugs. Those didn't have holes, so if you notice, this one is cut almost all the way around. There's like a little hinge here so I can work with it. And then at the bottom, you'll see there's some drainage holes, which are essential because I'm going to put dirt in here in my seeds and I don't want anything to rot and get the best soil that you can. I have a bin full right here. So what I'm going to do for me, since I'm one handed, I'm doing it this way because I want you to know, even if you're disabled, you can do this. So I'm going to pinch this a little bit and I'm going to get it partially full with some soil and oh boy my scoop's a little damp because the soil is damp you pre-moisten your soil because you want it to um kind of be moistened so the roots have somewhere to go and they're going to seep that moisture so you'll see in a second um, when I come back up for air, <laughs> oh gosh, I knocked over all my seeds. Oh my goodness. But you know, that's realities of garden. You know? Sometimes we make mistakes, have little errors, and that's okay. But anyways, what I wanted to show you is you fill your bottom half of your container up quite a ways in this one. Maybe a little too much. I'm going to pour a little of this out because I want my plants to be tall. But, um, so... See, this is still open and here I have some Heishiko bunching onion seeds that I got from Ray o Browning over at um, Voodoo Garden and Praxis 55712 channels Little Shop of Seeds. I mentioned them in a previous video. I'll link it here or here or wherever the links go. I forget. But anyways, I'm going to put a good bit of seed because these are bunching onions. Not the whole bag, but quite a few because I do want a good amount of onion. I really like onion. Then we're gonna put a little soil over top as well. And try and pick up these few I spilled because being one-handed, you know, there's casualties. And then one thing I did, I told you in another video early, early this year, back in January, I wanna say I told you that I was getting more organized this year. So one of the things I did is I already have my label. And on my label, I have the date and what I'm planting. And then on the back, where I, from whence I sourced the seeds. I think that's right side up. If it's upside down, I'm sorry. 
And I always stick my labels right in the corner by the hinge of the container because I find that doesn't get as wet and mine don't fade so much. And for me, this worked really good last year. I got a roll of just plain painter's tape and um, wrote out a label manually as well. And the same thing is on there, what it is and the date. And then you close your container. I've actually covered these seeds a little bit with a little bit more soil. And some people will take a spray bottle and spray the tops. I am gonna put them all in this tote, all of mine. And when I do that, what I will do is bottom water them. And since it's raining here today, they're going straight outside. So they really don't need a watering. So then what you wanna do is get duct tape. This is the wrong tape, babe. This is painter's tape. I need some duct tape. But I'm gonna temporarily um, use this painter's tape until my camera guy can give me some strips of duct tape to close this and hold it closed. Because here in Chicago, this painter's tape that's plain is not gonna hold this um, as long as I need it to hold until probably the mid-March. But anyways, that's the whole concept. You turn, um, I like gallon jugs for things like squash and tomatoes. You'll see me use more of those in April. And I go by season. It's February, so things that I can put out in March, at the end of March, like lettuces, these bunching onions, um, bok choy, pak choy, mustards. I will do several jugs of those types of things so I can have things outside. So this is in addition to my covered bins that I planted um, the soil bags that you see me videotape before. So this is a really actively get your hands in, get your hands really dirty way to play in the dirt. All it takes is a bag of pretty good soil. Um, people have had success using um, almost any organic soil. Um, I prefer what I'm using right now is called Bracco. Brac, brac, Recto, because that's what I had access to. I prefer to use uh, either Fox Farms or Happy Frog, either Ocean Floor or um, I forget what the Fox Farms one is called. Um, but the best soil you can get, and in this case, it's worth paying a little bit more for. So, if you still aren't satisfied with my quickie ten-minute play in the dirt, grow in the snow video. Go to Cheryl Mann, the Juicing Gardener's channel. I will link her playlist for you. Check it out. And I'm telling you, if you do it this way and you are in the snow zone, you will be hooked. This works so, so well. And if you don't want to watch a bunch of videos, go to winterzone.org and read Trudy David Davidoff's um, teaching. She's got everything on the website. Um, and there's a video I did many months ago, almost a year ago now, called Seed Hall, Gotta Collect Them All. And I linked her site then, and I showed you about how inexpensive her educational packets are. And she calls them educational packets because she teaches you to winter sew. So I'm going to link a couple videos, Trudy Davidoff's um, site, my seed haul video, and Cheryl Mann, the Juicing Gardener's channel. And I hope that you guys try this. Like I tell you all the time, be inspired, get excited, get creative. Um, I just have milk jugs and juice containers, but I've seen people use five gallon water bottles, um, vinegar containers, anything that doesn't have a caustic chemical in it can be used. You want it to be either clear or semi-opaque because the sun's got to get in and get to your poor little seeds. And uh, even soda, two liter and three liter bottles work. So I want to say to you guys, as always, blessings of bounty in your gardens. And may your gardens and your life always bring you blessings of inspiration, joy, and abundance. And I hope you'll keep watching and you'll see me next time. Because hopefully the next time you see these, there will be sprouts. And then after that, I'll, be tra I'll show you a video transplanting them out when I reveal. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys.